Bigfoot, Dogman, Jersey Devil, and others. Are they real? Misidentifications? Or the most cleverly disregarded reality of all time? Come into the cabin and sit down and let's try to find out together. Hey, welcome back to the cabin. I'm Robbie. Norman. Johnny. Hola. Hola. Johnny, Johnny's asleep over there. <laughs> but anyway, welcome to the cabin, Johnny. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry I showed up late. It's all right. We'll, we'll forgive you this I time. I missed the party again. Hey, we're, we're not professionals here. <laughs> we're just three guys talking about stuff that a lot of Her, people laugh at. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm always good. You can laugh at me. I got thick skin. Eh, it is what it is. And I get people mind. wanting to talk to me about the stuff now. <laughs> so, speaking of things that people laugh at, things that people don't understand, things that, you know, just make you say, hmm, have y'all ever heard of the Lost Colony of Roanoke? Sure did. Yes, we have. I huh? recall learning something about it in school. Yep. Okay. Lost Colony of Roanoke. We're going to have a little... We'll show about this tonight. This has always been something that's fascinated me. It's an entire settlement that just disappeared with almost no trace. <clears throat> so what what happened when when England was trying to, you know, establish colonies over here? This was supposed was supposed to be the first permanent English settlement in North America. Sir Walter Raleigh, which Probably North Carolina's name for, mm-hmm. but his his goal was to make the first permanent English settlement in North America. So where the Outer Banks are now in North Carolina, this is where where this was supposed to go. They ended up landing on Roanoke Island. There's some speculation whether that was where they were supposed to be or if they just ended up there for whatever reason. But Roanoke Island's where this colony. Ended up being built. Okay. So the first, it was actually done twice. The first time was founded by Governor Ralph Lane in 1585. It was in what is now Dare, North Carolina, Dare County, North Carolina. Um, The settlement actually failed, and they went back in 1587 to make a second attempt. This attempt is what is known as the Lost Colony of Roanoke. So... They went back and they built the Palisades, built all the houses and everything. Different numbers, between, but somewhere between 100 and 121 settlers were left there when uh, Governor White went back to England to resupply, you know, get the things that they needed. So he came back about anywhere between a year and a half and three years later. There's... You know, depending on which story you look at or get or who you hear it from, the average is about a year and a half. So somewhere between a year and a half to, to three years. He comes back and there is nobody there. The Palisades are still there, but all the houses have been deconstructed and there is zero trace of anybody, including his family, left there. There was one thing that they found. There was one word that was carved on the Palisades, and that word was Croatoa. Now, there's an Indian tribe, the Croatoan Indians, that lived in on the Croatoan Island, which right there in the in that whole little area. So, at first, his idea is, well, okay, something happened. They had to move over to that. So he was. His idea was to get over there and see if they were over there, but, you know, back then it's not just like jumping in your car and going across town. Navigation wasn't the best thing. Yeah, so... Maps were spotty. There there was weather. There were different things. Um, Supposedly they lost some anchors and they couldn't anchor. They they ended up having to sail all the way back to England, and they were never able to get back over there. And... and It just disappeared. Yeah, they just disappeared. Um... So you and I were talking, Norman, and you said you heard a few rumors that supposedly there were some uh, some Indians that were showing up with blue eyes and different. Yeah, the color. thing I heard, and it was descendants of possible um, merging of the tribe with the settlers, 
And it was they found blue eyes, green eyes, red hair among the Indians. You know, it was like, okay, they intermixed, they intermingled, became a new community. And that was the leading theory that I recall reading, seeing about, was that, don't know why they left, like you said, but they found refuge with the Indians of the area. Yeah, the, the eye color is definitely unique to Caucasians. Yeah. White Europeans. Mm-hmm. Definitely not Native Americans. No. So, Johnny, you, you said you remember learning about this in school, didn't you? Is it what you were telling me? or uh, I learned it very little. It was like a cursory thing we did in history class, maybe in middle school, maybe eighth grade. Uh, Norm is the big brain on this, <laughs> definitely. You and Norm. I recall reading something about it in, in, high, in school, might have been middle school, like Johnny was saying, that they talked about, the, you know, when they talked about the colonization of North America and how it was a failed colony. And yeah. the only words, like you say, it was Croatoa. But there was also something that I read or seen somewhere that there were some symbols even found, three of them or something. I don't recall the valet. I don't know how valid that is. Well, that's the th- but that's the whole thing about this. There's there's four or five different stories floating around, but there's nothing to substantiate any of those stories. Exactly. I mean, you got a word uh, carved on the palisade. You got maybe some symbols. But there is nothing. I mean, you had a hundred and over a hundred people that just disappeared with no trace. And there's no sign of natural disaster. No, no. fire that could have there broken was, out. There was no sign of anything that you know. You'd think if if they were slaughtered, you know, Native American tribe went in and slaughtered them, or animals or anything like that. You'd think if something like that happened, you'd find signs. You'd of find violence. signs uh, signs of it. And there was nothing. It was just, it was like, it was there, they got back, and it was gone. And 117 people to a race, that's a pretty substantial number. Yeah, it's not like it was two or three people that were left, you know. And not all these people were just settlers. I mean, there were, there were some, some soldiers, you know, left to, to guard the, they, they were gone too. So, I mean, it wasn't like it was just a bunch of people that couldn't take care of themselves. It was, you know. Something got past our palisades because, if yeah. I understand, our palisades were still intact. Yeah, the palisades were still there. It was the way I I watched the video, the in search, new in search of, and it said the palisades were still intact. It was still fortified, but all the houses were deconstructed, and that that was an interesting choice of words there. Deconstructed, like they were taken down, not not destroyed. Deconstructed, meaning they were there and then. They were taken down and either moved or, or whatever. But it's, it's like Johnny it's said. That's just words that they use. Yeah, it's like Johnny said. Uh, you, to, that many people to just up and erase from existence, basically. That's that. That's not something that just happens. Just just went just out of the blue. It's just right. you know, it'd be like saying the mothership came overhead and just beamed everybody yeah, up. Yeah, beam me up, Scotty. If they died of disease, I mean, within three years, there'd still be bodies. There's, yeah. There'd still be some Remains, fine. yeah. But there was nothing. I don't, didn't they, and they even checked their graveyard, and there was no change to it, I yeah. believe. And there was some, later on, I think a few years ago, they found some long boats or something related to the uh, colony that they found in... The sand dunes and stuff. Yeah, that, they've they've since found some things that make them think that maybe they were looking in the wrong spot for where they went to, but still nothing that says, "Hey, we we found where they went." And I mean, you know, seventeen it's, or excuse me, fifteen eighty five to two thousand twenty two, and nothing is nothing concrete has ever been discovered about what has happened. I'd like to find out if they ever did any more research into. Um, ancestry of some of the Native Americans in there. I heard that they did some DNA testing. I don't know if any of that stuff was definitive or not because even if there is some some of that we know that that has happened. It's not right. like that's something that hasn't happened so I would think that that would be something hard for them to say unless they had. Unless they recover some DNA from yeah, older body. Or that they had some DNA. Somehow they got DNA from the people who like uh, Governor White's group that came back and they've got some of their because you know Comparison some of his DNA. yeah some of his family was were in 
involved and were some of the ones that disappeared. Right. So unless they've got somehow got some of his DNA, I don't know how they could, or or somebody else that was. That would be an interesting thing to find out if they could ever get some comparison DNA, say from the the governor, and then get some older DNA harvest before a lot of intermixing. I'm going to use the term intermixing. You know, marrying other. You know, marrying outside. How some people may say, because Native Americans don't don't normally m- marry European. Well, back then they didn't. I mean, that was just yeah, and that's why I say it was very they, rare. They go back if they can pull older DNA samples and find a descendant today of uh, Sir Roanoke, and then try to do some comparisons. I mean, that'd be a long shot. But you're talking yeah. a lot of research. One of the compelling theories I was reading about talks about uh, competing factions within the group. They may have been on hard times. and You mean competing within the settlement themselves? Within the settlement themselves, and they're looking for a, the, the, a strong man to follow, and uh, maybe they got split and taken in different directions. Because they did find stuff on Hatteras, which is the Croatoa Island, mm-hmm. uh, and they found more stuff more inland, uh, 16th century artifacts. That may or may not be from uh, Jamestown, uh, but and this study was done back in twenty. This article was written back in twenty twenty one. So I mean, they found stuff that may lead a minister, but still nothing definitive that says okay, this is where they went, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's all theoretical. It's, yeah. This is just like basically spitballing from four hundred years ago. You know, <laughs> and you know, maybe some people are thinking, well, this is kind of not really what we what we're about, but. You know, this is the unknown. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it, it's, uh, you know, where, do, where and especially in that time, where does 100 people just up and vanish to? Now, granted, it was, you know, it was somewhere between a year to three years. So, that you know, a lot can happen in that time. But still, like Johnny said, if they had all just died from some disease. There would be or some sign of something. Animals had come in or another, uh, you know, an indigenous tribe had came in. There's going to be some sign. It's. But there was nothing other than that word and possibly some symbols that they found carved in the Palisades. I mean, that's it. And the other thing to think about is they didn't send over the kid that can't get your order right at Wendy's. They sent over real men Yeah, uh, that were probably with a very diverse skill set. But back then, every man could do – we're not even a shadow of what we used to be. Oh, I agree. Definitely. But, yeah, the kid from Wendy's was not on that boat. No. No, these were these were seasoned soldiers. And they were trying chosen for this. Yeah, it, it, it's not it's not like it is now, where you know, oh well, I'm a, I do this, and you don't really care about it. They they took what they did seriously back you know, then. They had, had the, to. They had their farmers, their craftsmen, the blacksmith, which is always important. Uh, definitely need soldiers going into a new land. You don't know mm-hmm. what's out there. You know. I don't know if it was Johnny or you, Robbie, we were talking about um, the Vikings and Vinland, mm-hmm. about them coming over to the United States and actually being run off. Yeah, yeah. The, we talked about that here, and we talked about that on uh, one of DA shows. Uh, something, something ran the Vikings off. And, and I wonder if it ain't something similar. Maybe and this well, is, some uh, some of the some of the accounts from some of the Vikings were they got run off, ran off by. Large, large people. I think's how they, or basically, it was large hairy people. Yeah, there were lots of giant talks about anybody that tried to come here years ago. Yeah. So you know, kind of leading into into our show, did something like that happen to these people? Maybe you know? that's the only way they could find survivors. Did, did they did did they run into a clan of Gugwe? Hey, hey. I'd, I'd like to know more about the red hair, blue eyed Indians. I mean, that yeah. sounds. Uh, and here's the thing: was that something that they just that they just came up with just to make it easier to to cope with? You know, was that something that was real? I mean, did it really happen? As far as were they really though? Uh, you know, people like that, and or is that just something they made up to just oh, okay? Well, this this is what happened. And it's not really what happened, but it was just easier to cope with than you know. Yeah. M- maybe they found they found some stuff that. They never said anything about because you know we don't really know what they actually found. We just know what they told us. Exactly. And 
you know, you put yourself in that situation and you go back and you find that a whole entire, you know, settlement that you were responsible for has just got wiped out by something. I mean, you know, I'm not saying that it was covered up, but, you know. Anything's possible. Cover-ups have happened. I mean, they've happened all through history. So, I mean. It's It's a big, it's a big question mark. Yeah. Unless you can get a time machine and go back and observe, we may never know the answer. Yeah, and it's, you know, it's one of those things. Is everything is speculation, and you know what we're what the three of us are talking about, what we're saying is that's what that is. But it's, it's dang interesting. Very, very, very. You know, but you know, it's just, you know, it's interesting. The, Vi- the Vikings had better communications with their uh, landing. Where it seems like with the Roanoke, you would think they would have had a better communications and lines of mm-hmm. lines of ships coming, and that through. was further back. Yeah, that, you know, people were more advanced by the time this, the Roanoke colony came around. So I'm wondering if something more of a dubious nature come up, and it, it, you know, could be. But well, that's all I've got for the lost colony of Roanoke. That's a I'd like to dig back into that one and do another episode on that. What do you think, definitely, guys? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Do definitely. some more re- research on that one. Yeah. All right. Um, I don't think Norman's going to be able to be with us for the next show. He's got to work. But, uh, Johnny, I think you got a little teaser for what our next episode's going to be about. You want to? Yeah. Uh, this weekend, I'm hoping to go back up. We've had uh, some very destructive rains here in the last week. It's been in like Wrath of God stuff. And uh, I'm going to go up and check the hot spot. And uh, I'm going to take another witness that's totally unknown to it, but curious. And we'll both have binoculars and we're going to we're gonna go see what we can find. I wish you the best of luck. Just be careful. Yep. Take well. a med kit. Let somebody know where you're going. Firearm, maybe. Yeah. Dark take Angel some, Medical. Some, I'll, dot com. I'll take some salt and pepper for the gugwe. Yeah. <laughs> and darkangelmedical.com. Yes, definitely. But we'll see you guys next week. Norman, be careful when you work. Always. Next class. Johnny, be careful when you go back up there. Um, I'll, I've got to work. Best. I've got to work this weekend too, so but we'll be back here next week for Johnny and I will, and we'll see what happened to Johnny's uh, little excursion this weekend. I'll be looking to hear from it. Mm. All right, Norman, we'll see you next time when you get back to the cabin. Johnny, I'll see you next week. All right, y'all be safe. All right, see you guys. Night.